Hi everybody, it's Deb here with Creative Life. Welcome back to my channel everybody and thanks so much for subscribing. Thank you for taking time out of your day to be here. And before I get started, I would love for you to go ahead and give me a thumbs up on this video. I would really appreciate it. So today, you guys, we're going to go ahead and start a little mini album. And this is a Trace Jolie card tag and more kit. And this, this is the kit for April. And it is so stinking cute. You get a little memory um, journal type booklet here. And let's go ahead and open it up and take a look inside. Okay, so when you get your little memory book, it opens up and you have a few pages. I think there's six, one, two, three. Yep, there's six little pages. And they're like a chipboard. Um, so you can add flips and flaps to these. Like I said, they are like a chipboard. They're not paper. So they are very, very sturdy. Okay, and it does open up just like this. I'm going to move this aside and, um, you know, so that way we can get this kind of, you know, um, seasoned a little bit. So when we go ahead and add papers and such to it. So you just want to turn your pages back and forth and back and forth. This kind of helps really open up, you know, uh, the, the binding of the um, chipboard and everything so that way um, it's not so stiff okay and so just kind of wiggle it back and forth open it up okay and I'm going to go ahead and take this part out so the other thing we're going to be using is this super cute little Prima flowers these are so cute you guys I think that they'll look really cute either on the front or on the side here. I think that they're super cute. We'll be using the Hello Pastel little charms, and this is what I have left. I used the little flower on one of the cards that I made. And then um, I do have some more little Say It in Crystals, so we'll be using some of these. I don't know I have some left, like here, I actually got two of these, okay, so um, I don't, I'll probably use the rest of these and then maybe a few of these. The other thing we're going to be using is our little photo inserts, okay, and these are just little pockets that you can add a little photo in, okay. We're going to be using our ephemera set and the paper collection. Um, the other thing we're going to do is um, when we did our tags for the Mother Day tags, and if you didn't see that video, I'll put the link at the end of this video, and I'll put like a little um, flag right here so you can see it in the, in, it'll come across the video here. Um, you have like a little long rectangle piece left over from the resist canvas that is in the mixed media set we're going to go ahead and we're going to decorate this and we'll probably use some of the blue the gray and the pink okay so we'll probably be using those three colors and we're just going to go ahead and splatter them all over this is actually going to be for our spine okay and it is big enough to fit on your spine so it'll fit over just like this okay so how fun is that oh my gosh so let's go ahead and get started okay so to begin we went ahead and i grabbed the little sprinkles that are from cosmic shimmer these are the shimmer shakers and i went ahead and sprinkled them all over the canvas resist and then you're going to go ahead and spray water on it and then that activates it so you can either paint it on or you can go ahead and sprinkle it on 
or and spray it and then spray your water on top of it however you want to do the water activates this powder and you're able to paint it on or activate it on the canvas now the next thing I did is I went ahead and cut out my pattern paper that I want to stick on the inside cover and the back of the book, the back cover. And I went ahead and grabbed my X-Acto knife and I left about a quarter of an inch on the, the top and the bottom of this printed paper. And you're going to go ahead and just cut around the flower. So basically you're making like a little pocket and then it'll open up. So you can stick some little cards in there, journaling cards or, you know, memorabilia, whatever you want to stick inside of that little pocket. And again, you're just going to get your X-Acto knife and cut around the flowers. And then once you are done, you're going to go ahead and you're going to place glue just on that flat part okay the the part where it it doesn't open up because you want to stick stuff you know behind the flowers so make sure you place your glue on that clear area there so stuff can still get in to your pocket okay of course you're going to place glue around the edges and then grab once you place that and adhere that on you're going to grab your bone folder and you're going to go inside of that pocket okay that just helps lift it a little bit create an opening so you can stick whatever your pictures or whatever you would like inside of there now i'm just placing the back piece on the back cover and we're going to go ahead and adhere that down make sure you burnish down everything so it's nice and smooth and again get your bone folder and and open that pocket up Okay, so now I'm just covering the front part, the, the front page, and all of your pages, okay, or all of your paper, pattern paper is going to be cut four and an eighth by four and one eighth, and that is what I cut all of mine to. Um, it, it's totally up to you how you want to decorate your inside. Um, I just wanted to give you the measurements that I used, and um, they seem to work pretty good. So... That is what I did. Okay, the next thing we did is we took one of the pattern papers that we cut that is four and an eighth by four and one eighth, placed about um, a quarter inch tape all the way around the back side of this, okay? And this paper is one of the plank papers. It has lines across it. You can barely see them, but it does have some flowers on it and so what i did is i grabbed my exacto knife and where the flower starts and then to the edge of the tape i went ahead and just cut straight across these are going to be like little pockets for tags or whatever and i just thought this was a cute idea i wanted to i do this for some of my mini albums and so i wanted to incorporate this into this little tiny memory book and i just thought that they're really cute to have so just little tiny pockets <laughs> then you're going to place glue on the edge where you placed your tape and you're just going to go ahead and set that right in there and then you can go ahead and here i am creating some little tags to go on the side just fold a little piece of paper in half now you do have to grab your bone folder and kind of open that up so that way your tags or you know whatever you stick inside of there will um you know go ahead and slide in you know easily and um it just helps when you stick your bone folder in what you're doing is you're just breaking up the little fibers uh, and opening that up that little space up so little tags can get inside Now, for the remaining of the book, I just went ahead and cut all my pages down to 4 and 1 8 by 4 and 1 8 and adhered all of them down to the chipboard pages. Now, the sixth page on the back side of that page, we're going to go ahead and make a pocket with scrap. Okay, so this is the last page that is on in the book, and we're making a little pocket 
that is right next to the back cover. And you're just going to grab your scraps of whatever size they are, cut them to the four and one eighth. Okay. And then you're going to grab, um, again, two of these and you're going to adhere one down on top. And then the other one, just place glue around the edges like I did here. And then you're going to go ahead and just place that down. Now I went ahead and I had cut out one of the large hearts from the paper collection and I just went ahead and separated it, cut fussy cut it out and this was my border to make to you know put on my pocket. Next I'm going to grab my bone folder and just kind of place that in there and kind of open that pocket up so I can place my photo mats inside. Now for this part, what I did is I went ahead and gessoed my teacup that comes in the kit. I gessoed it white, okay, and then I came in with some white paint and I painted like the top tea, teacup white and then I painted a couple of the handles white and um, and then I went ahead and came in with some pink paint and lightened that up with some white. <laughs> and then painted the bottom teacup pink. So for the pink cup, I did add about two or three coats of pink on top of here. And then I used my little pick stick to just kind of get the paint out from the little circles there. And um, it didn't, I mean, the paint wasn't very thick, so um, it cleaned up pretty good. Next, I decided to go ahead and paint the white teacup, the handle pink, and I just thought that this would be super cute, so I went ahead and finished that off. Oh. Next, I had traced a, a pattern paper, uh, and I, on that, that middle teacup there, and then I went ahead and just added some glue around there and placed that paper right in there. The pattern paper, how I traced it, was just laid the teacup down on top of the pattern paper and then traced around that area. Next, I wanted to go ahead and measure out the canvas for our spine, and I just placed the back of the book on top of the canvas and then traced it with a pencil at the end and that's our line in where we're going to cut. Next I came in with my double back tape and placed that on my spine and I went ahead and did three. You can use whatever tape you would like, you know, maybe if you have a one inch or a two inch, whatever you have, just go ahead and place that on your spine. And then I'm going to come in with a quarter inch tape and I'm going to place that on the sides. Next, after you get all, everything burnished down, you're going to go ahead and take the backing off. And then you're going to go ahead and grab your cover, okay? And I went ahead and laid mine flat and then placed it on top and then wrapped the canvas around the area okay now i did have some little pieces that were sticking out of the canvas here and there and i did cut those away um i did burnish that down make sure it's burnished down really well i had it a couple of times i had the edges trying to come up but i just used my glue and i went ahead and um you know, taped those down again and added my glue and it seemed like it, it stuck down pretty good. So here is one area that just had some little pieces sticking out here and there. Nothing really bad. Um, I went back in with some tape and went ahead and added some more so that area wouldn't lift. I did add the glue and then went ahead and just made sure everything was burnished down really well. Okay, so when I covered the front, I cut my pattern paper four and one eighth by four and one eighth, which is not the measurement for the front cover because it is bigger <laughs> than the pages. So I decided to go ahead and use it anyway and punch out some borders uh, with a punch that I have in my stash and decided to create some pretty borders with this and place them on the top and the bottom. 
and yeah so it worked out perfectly Okay, so next we're going to go ahead and decorate this teacup. So after the teacup dried and everything was good to go, I brought it back in and placed some flat back pearls on the little uh, polka dots that are on the teacup. And I just thought this looked so cute. <laughs> so um, then I came in with some white little flat backs that I had in my stash and I went ahead and placed them all in the middle of that little teacup and I just thought that was so pretty. Next I came in with my glossy accents to give this kind of like a shine on the handles. You know how teacups, you know, they have that little shine and so I thought this would add a little bit of shine to this. Then I came in with some stickles. Now for this part of the stickles, I went ahead and went around each of the little diamond areas and then I outlined the cup, which gave it a really nice little sparkle. Next, I added some uh, cotton candy that is a distress stickle and to that border there and um, right above the green paper. And then I came in with another color of stickles for the pink cup. And here is what it looks like all finished and now we're ready to let it dry. So after it dries, you want to go ahead and place some glue on the back and I just smoothed it out the glue with my finger and then about a quarter of an inch from the bottom or maybe a half inch from the bottom, I just placed the teacup on top of our cover. And then I came in with some of the flowers that I had fussy cut from one of the pattern papers. Now this actually is the flower heart that is on one of the pattern papers okay and I just cut out the whole entire heart and then as I was decorating I went ahead and cut the pieces apart you know whatever I wanted to use from this it just made it a lot easier <laughs> so um, so I went ahead and just pieced these together here and there and laid them down. I wanted the flowers to look like they were coming out of the teacup and I think that they actually look so beautiful. Um, they're so pretty and dainty. I just love the colors of these and um, I just thought it looked really nice. Okay, the next thing I did is for the rest of the remaining of the flowers that I had cut out from that heart, I went ahead and placed some double back uh, foam tape on the back of that. And I went ahead and placed that up against the little teacups there. I really wanted some flowers like kind of trellising up the, around the, the cups. And then I came in with some of the crystals, say it with crystals, that are in the collection and, or in the kit. And um, I thought that these looked so pretty. So I really wanted to add these. I think they added a nice touch of bling to them and, um, you know, to the cover. I really like how this looked. So I just added them a few around the edges here. So next what I did is I grabbed those little inserts that came in the kit and these are photo inserts and so um, they do have adhesive on the back and I went ahead and added the one to the left page here and I went ahead and decorated it with some of the ephemera flowers and I just thought that looked really pretty and so um, that is another option you have to do with these and then here I stuck some of the ephemera pieces against you know other areas where you can have like a little tuck spot so I didn't put the glue all over the back just on parts of the back of the ephemera pieces so that way you could definitely stick um, a photo 
mat or maybe a journaling card or you know whatever you want to do with your book you can definitely do this um, you know just go ahead and place some glue on the edges there and then go ahead and just mount that on there so here I'm just adding a little collage of flowers on that corner and then here is a space. This is the pocket that we created with the X-Acto knife um, where it has the three little lines across it and you can stick your tags inside. Here, that is where you can add some of your ephemera. Here I added another photo, uh, photo sheet here. Um, and then I went ahead and added some flowers around that. I think that these are so great and so useful because not they they also protect your pictures so you don't have to worry about if something you know gets on them or anything you, you know they're protected so I just thought it was a good idea you could also for use it for a little pocket for a for maybe ephemera or for um, you know journaling cards or maybe memorabilia so like maybe you went someplace and you can stick your receipts or something inside um, little maybe little tags or something that you got brochures or something you know that you want to keep from your vacation you can definitely stick them inside of those little photo um, clear photo mats inserts so here, I, again, I'm just using the ephemera to decorate this little area of the um, where I laid down the plastic photo insert. And I'm just going to go ahead and decorate that up. And then we'll be moving on. Okay, so next you're going to go ahead and get your hole punch. And you're just going to go ahead and punch a hole in that spine uh, area and your hole punch should fit right in through that little um, opening there and I was going to use that little pen for to hold the charms but then I decided that I think it would look a little bit more um, feminine and more dainty if I used my ribbon so I went ahead and grabbed my ribbon looped it through the hole and tied the charms on each part of the ribbon pieces. Um, then I came in with some seam binding and it was like a really light pink and I tied it around the top area to create kind of like a little bow. I think this little book turned out so pretty and I love using kits especially when you have all of the pieces you need to create something beautiful for a gift from for upcoming Mother's Day birthday or even Christmas so uh, this kit is really useful y'all we are done with this super cute little book and it turned out so pretty i really like how this turned out <laughs> so shabby and i love it i hope y'all like it too and um on the side here we went ahead and used the little trinkets from the kit um, the little charms and tied them on top of a ribbon. Now these ribbons are from my stash. Okay. Um, then we went ahead and added the rest of the um, resist canvas that we have from the mixed media collection. We went ahead and added that to our spine as a cover. And I thought that was a really good idea. We also got to play with some of the shaker shimmers and or sh shimmer shakers <laughs> so so pretty and these colors are just gorgeous on here and then what we did is for the front we went ahead and decorated this i went ahead and used a punch for a border on the top and the bottom and then um added some flowers that kind of come out from the teacup and then on the sides here i went ahead and added some of those say it with crystals added some more flowers here from that heart that is um, that I fussy cut out from the paper collection. Here I went ahead and painted this chipboard teacup um, that comes in your kit, okay? And then we added some glossy accents to the uh, cup handles. 
and then I added a couple of flatback pearls up here and then down here. Now on this one here, we added some stickles and you can see some of those stickles. It's kind of glary, it's very pretty and it really shines nicely on that teacup. I just love how that looks. And then here added some stickles here on the edge of this cup and then on the edge of this cup here. So pretty. I just love how this turned out. When we open our book, um, you have a pocket that we cut out from the paper from the paper okay and actually this is part of the paper we made a pocket did our exacto knife on that so you can just slide in a photo mat um, maybe some ephemera or maybe you want to use this as a little journaling card you know journaling tech spot or something here you can add a little photo or you can just write in here I thought that this little book would be perfect for just like writing in here and like you know um, some people have those like two by two little photos that they like to add in here or maybe use it as a um, as a board for like um, you know just things that you like like I don't know for instance like bird watching or for you know um, flowers or something like that um, and uh, you maybe you're gardening or something and you just want to write about your garden and I just thought that this would be such a cute little book to put all that information in and then here is a little pocket it's like a little a photo insert that you can insert little photos in here or whatever I just put those in there thought that was really pretty and I used some of the ephemera from the kit to actually um, embellish around this these little photo mats or these little photo inserts here we went ahead and created a pocket out of this little um, pl wooden plank uh, piece of um, the paper collection and then I added uh, some ephemera on the bottom here. Here I made a couple little tags that just fit right inside of these little pockets. Okay, there's there's three little pockets. There's those three and then there's one here right behind the flowers and I thought that that was really pretty. Um, here is another little tuck spot. Here we added some ephemera and you can just tuck your little photo mats or whatever you would like back behind there. On this one has another little photo mat. You can stick a photo inside. Decorated it with a lot of the ephemera pieces from the kit. Here again we have another little tuck spot that we created and we just stuck a little photo mat right there. And then these two are just blank. I really like this space. I thought this space was perfect for like writing something, like just journaling or something right in through here. And then right in through here. You can stick a photo or journal on here as well. Here I took, um, set this one sideways. And so you can see that you don't have to just set them upright. You can actually set these little photo inserts sideways so you can just place your photo right inside of there. How fun is that? So um, there's that. Here is another little tuck spot. Um, this paper is actually six by six. And so what I did is when I cut it down, I went ahead and fussy cut the top portion out and then went ahead and put that on. Just glued that down right in through here and made it into a little tuck spot for little photos or for receipts, whatever you have that you want to stick in your little book. On this one here, we did make a pocket and we used two different scraps from our pile and we made this little pocket with some little, with a little border flower, flowers. Um, and then you can place your little mats right inside of there, just like that. And then here is the back. Now the back matches the front, so you have another little area to put little photos or something inside. So that is our little book, and I think it turned out so pretty. I hope that you guys like the video tutorial, and I hope that you are enjoying your kits that you got this month. Thank you so much for joining me. Take care, and I will talk to you soon.
Bye. Thanks so much for joining me today, y'all. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment. And hit that bell for future notifications on all upcoming videos, tutorials, YouTube hops, and my Friday Night Lives at 4.30 Central Time.